hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we're soldering some LED lighting strips. From time to time here on the show, we use LED lighting strips and they come in a long strip. I think the smallest one you get is like 16 feet long, but on the show, I have cut them up and soldered them together. And I've gotten some comments from some of you guys that have said, you cut them up and soldered them, but you never showed us how to solder them. And some of you are having problems. Um, so I thought that I would show my method of how I solder up these strips today. That way you guys have an idea of what you can do for your projects and how you can get successful solder joints to modify your light strips. So let's head over to the bench and I'll show you what we need. Well, the tools that you need are fairly minimal. You need some way to solder. In my case, I have a soldering station. Um, this is one I picked up years ago on Amazon. It, it was actually really reasonable. I'll see if I can post a link to this and uh, if you guys are interested, you can get yourself one because it has been fantastic. It's, it's been a wonderful addition to the shop. But this here is adjustable temperature. Now you don't need an adjustable temperature one, but you need some way to solder, whether it be an iron or a soldering station. You also need, obviously, some solder. And this is rosin core solder, it's 20 gauge. Rosin core, basically what that means is it has flux in the center of the um, solder. It has a core inside of flux, and flux is what allows or assists the solder to flow on your joint. So this is it. This is what you need for equipment or specialty things to be able to solder this stuff. Now, what about the light strips themselves? Well, that's what we're going to look into next. Well, there are essentially two types of LED strips. There is this type, which is just white LED, and then there is RGB color LED strips. Now, how can you tell what yours are if you're not 100% sure? Well, the white LED strip only has two copper contacts on it here on the strips, whereas our color ones have four. And when you're soldering these together, you want to make sure that for here, you can see G, G is written on both sides, R, R, B, B, that stands for colors, green, red, and blue. And then of course your 12 volt feed, you can see that there. You want to make sure that you're soldering the same uh, on both sides. So if this lead is 12 volt. You have to make sure it's soldered to the 12 volt on this side. So that's something very important to pay attention to. The same thing here when you're doing the white strips. You want to make sure that your positive 12 volt is being soldered to your positive 12 volt and your negative is being soldered to your negative. So for today's demonstration, I'm just going to be soldering this white strip. It's just an off cut, it's just a scrap, and this show is about the method of soldering. It's not about a project, it's about showing you how to solder these so that you can modify them to your projects. So if we look closely here on our LED strip, you will see that there is, right in the middle there, a little pair of scissors. And what that is showing you is where to cut to be able to divide these apart, to get the lengths that you need for your project. So the first thing that you want to do is measure out your strip and then using a sharp pair of scissors, you will cut them along those lines. So let's just cut off two of these strips here to solder together. So very carefully, right on that line, you'll just give it a little snip like that. And what you've done now is you've divided that copper strip so that you have copper to solder on on this side and copper to solder on on this side. And once you get them all divided the way that you want and you're happy with it and you've got all of your LED strips laid out, 
we can start the soldering process. Well, in order to do the soldering, you're going to need some wire. And what I have, this is just 20 gauge wire. You have to remember that these LED strips are for the most part 12 volts DC. So you don't need a huge wire to be able to solder them together. Uh, 20 gauge is just plenty. Now, if your LEDs are 120 volts AC, that's a different scenario. That doesn't apply here, and you'll have to gauge your wire accordingly to the amperage. So I have some two inch jumpers here cut off. Normally I, use, I like to use black and white, black for the positive, white for the negative. Um, that's just what I like to do. But in this case, I just had black. So I have some two jumpers here. I have them cut to about two inches long each, roughly. And I have about a quarter of an inch or more, just a little bit stripped off of each end. And we're just gonna twist those ends together just to make sure that all of the strands, this is stranded wire, make sure that all of the strands are together. The next thing that you want to do is you want to tin your wires. And basically what that means, it's just a fancy word or a fancy term for putting solder on them so that all of those strands now become a solid wire. So for this entire operation, because I have a heat controlled soldering station, I like to keep my soldering station at 350 degrees. So the way that I like to tin is you just apply heat to the wire and you can just melt your solder onto there, just like this. Just make sure that the whole end of the wire there is coated and that's it, that piece is tinned. And now we will do the same thing on this side. That's it, that one's done. And now we can do our other jumper as well. So you want to tin as many of these jumpers as what you need, depending on how many soldering connections you need to do. Uh, it's pretty quick, but it's an important step. Don't forget to tin the wire ends. Well, for the purpose of this demonstration, I've just stuck these two small little pieces down to a little piece of hardboard. Um, and we'll pretend that this is our project. Now, one thing that I find helps is if you align your LED strips the same way. In other words, our 12 volt is on the top over here and it's on the top here. And our negative contact is on the bottom here and here. That will help you keep things straight when it comes to soldering. So what you wanna do is take your jumpers and you wanna fold them over so that they're in this U shape just like that, so that they reach between the two 12 volt contacts. So bend all of your jumpers so that they're in that U configuration. With those wires tinned, they're probably a little longer than what you really need for here. So you want to trim them so that they're just a little bit longer than the copper leads that you'll be soldering them onto. Now, one of the biggest problems that some of you are having is that you're applying heat to these copper leads. And what's happening is the copper leads are separating off of the LED strip. The reason for that is it's a very thin layer of copper. They can't take too much heat. Applying too much heat will damage them and cause them to separate. So what you need to do is prepare them. And I'll show you what to do. Lay your solder down along one of the copper leads. Now here I'm on the 12 volt and then take your soldering iron, make sure your tip is clean. Take your soldering iron and you just want to apply a little bit of heat here. And what we're doing is we're going to lay down a bead of solder on top of on top of our little copper lead that's there. Just like that. See that little bead of solder there? 
We're going to do it on this one. And then we'll do it on this one. And then on this one. Now you don't need a lot. So it's just a little tiny bead of solder. You also don't want to apply too much heat. There you go. So you can see here we have four little beads of solder placed on our leads. So we're going to start with our negative here. It doesn't matter. You can do the 12 volt if you like. Like I said, I have my soldering iron set to 350 degrees. Once again, make sure your tip is clean. Lay your wire down onto your negative, placing some downward pressure, and it's just a quick touch, just enough to melt the solder that is on the strip and let the tinning that is on the wire adhere to our LED strip. So almost up to the insulation there, and just a little touch. Okay, there's that one done. And now we'll just bend it around and place it on the other negative. Like I said, make sure you're going like for like and just place it down. You may need to bend and shape your wire here to make sure that it's gonna sit in the solder properly. But sit it on the edge of your solder and it's just a light touch. Don't go crazy here. There you go, there's the negative done. It's as simple as that. And now we'll do the positive side. Same method. Make sure your soldering tip is clean. Sit it down into the solder that bead that you placed on there. A little bit of heat, a little bit of pressure, not much. Hold it till it cools. And that is that one done. And we're gonna do the exact same thing now with the other 12 volt. We'll just bring it around, trying not to get my fingers in your way so that you guys can see. And a little bit of heat, just like that. And let it cool, and there you go. That is the soldering on these strips done. It's nice and neat, it's nice and clean, it's a good solder joint, and you, if you do it with this method, you will not have the problems of overheating like what some people have been having. So there you go. If you want to use LED strips in your lighting projects, uh, that is the method that I use for soldering the ends together. It has never failed me, and um, I hope that helps you. And there you have it. Soldering your LED strips in order to modify them for your projects. Guys, there's a lot of people out there that feel that these LED strips can only be used in their longest form, one long strip, and that's not true. They have those cut lines on the strips for a reason. And unfortunately, um, there's not too many people that have the method down as to how to solder them. and you are having problems with the strips separating or damage occurring to the strips. And the biggest problem is applying too much heat. Now, this is not the only method to use for soldering these, but this is the one that I have found works best for me. Um, it's, the, it's the cleanest, it works the quickest, and it makes a good solid electrical connection. Now, <clears throat> Don't worry too much, guys, if you screw this up, if you're trying it, mess it up. It is 12 volts DC. It's a little more than a square 9 volt battery. So really, um, if you mess it up and reverse the polarity, you will most likely damage your LEDs, but no harm, no foul. You're not going to have some huge explosion of electricity come out of it. It's not going to, you know, wipe you out. It, it's, it's a fairly safe operation. Um, you do want to be careful though to get the proper polarity. Make sure that your 12 volts is going with your 12 volts and if your, your negative is going with your negative. 
Now, if you're doing multicolor LEDs, it's the same process that I've shown you here. The only difference is you want to make sure that your 12 volts is with your 12 volts, your red goes with your red, your green goes with your green, and your blue goes with your blue. They are all very clearly labeled and all very easy uh, to solder together. So there you go, a good way to do this. Um, just be careful of the solder guys. It is hot, 350 degrees is what you're dealing with there. It will burn you, so just be careful. You can do it. I know you can do it. It takes a little bit of practice, but give it a try. I think that uh, you will find that by cutting your LED strips so that you can suit them to your projects will really open up a whole world of new options when it comes to this type of LED lighting. Guys, I want to thank you for tuning in this week. It's a little shorter show than normal, and that's okay. Sometimes a little short one uh, is the way to go. And I know that some of you were having issues with this soldering method, and hopefully today's show is going to show you a method that is going to work for you to get successful solder joints on your LED strips. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. and Click that bell, and then you won't miss the notifications of future episodes of the show. I hope you've enjoyed the content. I hope it's found it, you found it useful. I hope you're going to try this in your shop. And more importantly, I hope that you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.